Hi there, Z here, and first off, I would really like to apologize to everybody who has actually been watching a lot of my stuff. I know I haven't put a lot of stuff out recently, and that's mainly due to me taking on something that I thought was going to be a lot easier than it actually was. Hey, get away from those wires! Hey, is that one of your toys? You get, you get out of there! Get, get. Bite it! Bite it! This is your toy! This is what you're supposed to chew on! Oh my god, please stop leaking, please stop leaking, please stop leaking! Come on, go potty! Come on! You just did it inside! Go potty! Oh, look at her. She's just sleeping. She's just sleeping so peacefully. What are you fucking planning? So I'm back. The, the, the mutt is... She's doing okay, needs a lot more discipline, but don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll nail that into her. I will make sure she has discipline. I don't know why it always has to go to something sexual with me, but a anyways, I want to continue on with what I want to talk about here today, and what I want to talk about is virtual reality. Not like the creepy Matrix virtual reality where everyone's plugged into a computer and is being used as a battery of sorts. I'm talking about the, the lesser of the two evils. You know, the, the video game that just make people look like idiots when they have it on and then just suck up a lot of your time and a lot of your energy. That those kinds, you know, they're, they're, they're very similar, yet they're very different. And I don't want to brag or anything, but I have one myself, and uh, it's mostly due to the fact that uh, I'm bad with money, and I don't quite understand what high interest means on a credit card. But, as long as I have my house, electricity, and the internet, I have my HTC Vive. So I want to do a sort of review where I kind of go over it, I go all through all the pros, the cons, and just kind of enlighten you a little bit more on whether you should spend the money and time on a, a virtual reality machine or not. So if you guys would like to stick with me, I'm going to put on this virtual reality helm. The fucking shit, did that go? No, 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 Stella, no, 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 don't break that, don't put that on this there! Now the first thing I would like to talk to you guys about would be the most important thing in my opinion, which would be the Vive headset. Now, this is a very nicely put together piece of equipment right here. I'm not going to lie. Now this, I, this thing fits on your head well enough where it doesn't feel like it's cutting out the circulation and making that, that throbbing tumor that you refuse to go to the doctor for. It, it, it doesn't bother that, it doesn't do anything. If you have this on correctly and correctly adjusted, it will fit perfectly and it fits beautifully and it makes you feel good. Now, I say that adjusted part because they do have little things on the side right here velcro where you can rip off you can resize it which is amazing for people with big heads like myself now those of you out here who have never have big heads or you never had to deal with the bullshit yeah go fuck yourself okay all right you know i understand the suffrage movement okay yeah that could that that, that makes sense a little bit here okay the the civil rights movement yeah i mean if we didn't have that we wouldn't have will smith but fuck everybody here who doesn't understand what it feels like to get a big head and not able to find any sort of hats or sunglasses that fit you okay where the fuck is my parade and the only con I could really come up with here is, you know this little spot right here? Yeah, you know this right here? This is nice, nice soft foam. Oh, it's, it fits beautifully. It doesn't do, doesn't affect your eyeballs or anything else like that. But you know what it does affect? You know, when something like this that has a lamp in it and it has heat and it has all that other stuff. Guess what happens when you don't have s s ventilation to any part of your eye? Yeah, this whole thing sweat. Just, just, you could, you could feel it. It's just damp with sweat. And sometimes even the sweat pools in there. I mean, maybe I might just be a disgusting, fat, sweaty slob, but I can't be the only one out here that has that problem. So just telling you, you might need to take a break. You know, maybe pop out, maybe pop this off, put the second one on there because you're going to sweat and you're going to be a pig. Okay. All right. You fat, sweaty sack of shit. And now that we got that taken care of, pretty similar, pretty slow here, I now would like to go on to the hand, uh, the hand things, hand, um, the hands. And I actually really do like these things. They, they have, the very well put together, they fit firmly in your hand. Uh, there's a couple different buttons on this. This is usually these little scroller things here. They're touch pads that make you, they kind of help you navigate and everything. These would be the pause buttons. There's things on the side that you push. There's triggers on the side so you can grab stuff and in the game it grabs it. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, these things right here, 
I mean, that's usually to, you know, I don't know, p pick something up, you know, give somebody, like, the finger or something like that. I haven't, I haven't seen that game yet, but I would really like to see it come out. You know what else I like about them? Look at these. Got the, got the Wiimote type, type, um, hand, uh, wrist holder, um... Wrist things, yeah, wrist things, that's what they are. And you're definitely gonna need these, especially on some of these games that are a little bit more active. Easily would fly off, easily. But you know what, even if they did fly off, I mean, it's $50 if they did break, but guess what? Pretty durable. I've, I've, I've hit the wall a few times with them, so. On to the next thing! That's enough of the crotch cab, don't you think? Now I wanna show you a little bit of a con that I've found, and it might just be because I am a lazy piece of garbage. But let me grab this right here, and we'll go to the camcorder. Well, so I can move this, around. there we go, there we go. Okay, see these right here? See that, right there? Yeah, that, and this, this one over here too? Those ones? Piece of shit to put up. The biggest piece of shit I could ever see, they're just awful, awful to put up. All right, fuck it, we don't need that anymore. Now, it was even a little bit more difficult for me since I have an old house, so when they built this, they built it with plaster instead of drywall. But when I lived in the apartment before, that had drywall, and let me tell you what, it doesn't make any difference. Because guess what you have to do? You have to put them up at the, at the two places, like I, like I showed you before. I'm not, I'm not getting the camcorder, I threw it on the ground, it's dead to me. And then you have to angle them so they see not only each other, but the thing that you put on your desk as well. Now, to be fair, these things have a wide range, a very wide camera angle, so that's pretty good. But to get them both there, and then you have to set them up to the right channel, and it's a hassle. Another pro thing that they did is something that I think the Wii should have done initially, which is please give us the chance to, to determine how active or inactive we want to be. There are two different kinds of active that you can do. There is one type that you can sit slash stand. That means you don't have to have a lot of room, don't have to do a lot of things. Now, it seems nice, this one, but at the same time, a lot of these games are just so much better when you're able to walk around, look over edges and everything else like that. And if you do want that option, it's there for you, but you need a room that's about six by five. Um, for, for those of the, for those of you in metric system, so everybody besides us, I think it's 2.5 to 3. I think it's 3.33 feet per one meter, I think. I'm guessing a lot of you, if you're not living with your parents, you're not living in that big of a place either. So you're probably pretty much going to be standing, which is not the greatest. Like I said, if you are able to move around, I have, I'm lucky enough to have my own room. You know, it's a tiny, tiny room, and I'm positive someone was killed here at one point. But it's my own room, and it's just big enough to do it, so it works with me. But I'm guessing a lot of you don't have a room that big, which kind of sucks, but again... It's going back to the positive. It, it works because they allow you to at least sit or stand if you want to. But let's stop talking about the actual hardware because no one really cares about the hardware. I mean, if you're buying this, you obviously already know what it's going to take for your supercomputer to run it, what it's going to take to set it up. You already know this. And plus, other YouTubers have already done this as well, so just watch them. I'm here to talk to you about the full deal without putting this into a half hour long video. And the one thing that I really think this thing shines from is the some of the games that are on here. Some of these games are so fun. They are so fun. There's there's uh, the the games that they that they send you right away which pretty much you're you're in this future area where robots are sending you back to to jobs like a retail clerk and everything. It, you've seen it all. Markiplier has done it. PewDiePie has done it. Everyone's done it, so I'm not going to go f too far into that. But I want you to know that the the market keeps pumping out with these games. Flip side, all right, counterpoint there's about 80% of the games out there that are just shit. <laughs> I have bought at least three or four VR games that I thought sounded cool. Oh, Zombie Training Apocalypse. That's great. Oh, never mind. It's like a colorful, you know, wacky type thing. And the aiming on it is god awful. It's just terrible. I'm so glad I spent $15 on this game. Now, Steam does have it that some weekends you can get VR games for up to 50% off or whatnot. And I would take... Full advantage of that to anybody who's looking for a better deal because, I, I, you, you, the, like I mentioned, 80%, that's a high number of shit games to the 20% that are good. Just saying. Just, 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 just warning everybody. 
And there's no real easy way to just kind of slide into this, so I'm just going to say porn! Porn, it's in here, it's, it's, it's here, it's ready, and it's very, very interesting. Some sites like, I mean, I'm not going to say too much, and I don't want to put any pictures of it up there, so you know what I'm going to do when I'm just talking about this little I'm just going to make hand gestures that you would find on any porn site, okay? So I'm just going to explain this. And so basically, there's a lot of neat type of porns out there. It's it's so cool. There's porns that you could just kind of look around, and then you're like, oh, wow. Just, and then it's all over. And if you have headsets that are so much, like, engrossing, oh, my God, it's like the best thing that you could ever see ever. And I know I'm sounding like a little bit of a pervert because <clears throat> I am... Uh, but I mean, let's be honest, everyone has a perverted side. And so what I'm just trying to say here is that if you like it, if you like that porn, which is like, I'm pretty sure 90% of you, you're going to like that part of this device. Flip side. If you go into this, make sure you are home alone. Okay. That is not something that you want somebody walking in on. Even if you're sure, positive that your parents went and got, you know, shit-faced at the bar. Who knows what might have happened? They might have come home early because they forgot their condoms or something. I don't fucking know what your parents do. All I know is if you're putting this thing on and you're just jacking it, you're just going to town, the last thing you want to hear is, Zach? Or Tommy? Or my... I'm not going to go through all of, all of the, the guy names, but insert your name here followed by the sweet voice of your mother screaming and crying. That's all I'm saying. Because there is no way of seeing what is around you, unless there's like a system that uses the, the, the camera on the front to see what's going on while you're doing the dirty deeds. Absolutely no way that you could see it completely black or completely covered with boobs or penis or whatever you like. And so just be careful. Lock doors, you know, put a sign up saying, hey, I'm vibing right now. And your parents probably don't know what that means, but you and I both know what that means. That means jerking off, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. You don't need to be ashamed, but you also don't want your parents seeing that. Take it from me. Another pro that I found out is these wires are insane. Look, right there. And there she is. Man, it's like reeling in a fucking carp. Better question, though. Con, fucking fuck wires. I mean, you can make them as long as you want, but when you're walking around and you have to turn around and you get a face full of your own wires, it's like, okay, that just takes me out of the whole experience. Long wires, that's great. You can walk around a lot around your room. Counterpoint is fuck wires, okay? No one likes them. The last thing I really want to touch on is the colors in this game are just so crisp. They're so beautiful. Like, I don't know if it's the type of lenses that they have in there. I have no idea if it's the type of bulb that's in there. Anything. I have no idea what resolution they're in. But if it's, if it's ball busting or nut busting beautiful, then they got it right because it is good. Gorgeous. I mean, you won't see it so much if you buy like a horror game and everything's black and brown and dark. You're not going to see much. The only thing you'll really see is, is, is like the scary face coming at you and feeling you piss yourself. But, con, too much of it, too much of it. You play three hours of that same colorful game. I don't know if it's the bright colors or the fact that you do this and, 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 and your equilibrium gets all off or whatever. It, you get a headache. I get a headache. All of this stuff that happens to me, it might just be me personally, the sweating, you know, uh, the, the masturbation all the time, and now the headaches, but I'm not the only person who says who have gotten a headache from, from, from doing this. Now, it's only if, the only time it's ever happened to me, because when I first got this, I played it all the time, and the dark, dreary games or the not-so-colorful games, I could play for hours. You know, I played Elite Dangerous a lot on this. By the way, that's, it's, it's, it's very well done. Elite Dangerous on the VR. It's, it's fun. Um, but besides that, it's only the really bright, colorful games that just... I don't know what it is. It might be just too solemn and sweet for my cold heart, but... It, 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 it does it does a toll to my head. And you know that throbbing tumor that I was talking about? It, it's, it's not only throbbing, it's like screaming in my head. It's, 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 it's not a good sight.
And that's all I'm really going to say. That's all the stuff that's really come out at me and that I haven't seen too many other reviewers talking about. Now, true, I've only seen about two or three reviews of this because I have the thing. Why would I want to watch someone review it? I've already bought it. If it's a piece of shit, I already know about it by now. But in my solemn opinion, this is my final opinion after giving the cons, the pros, I have to give this thing just a great score like i wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because there are weird little things i don't like about it and it's kind of weird judging a system because the system only plays only like plays the game so the games have a integral part as well as the system and the hardware i don't want to worry about all that but if you have the money for this i would definitely do it if you, if you have the money to drop i think it was 900 dollars on this particular model i would say do it you, you would have a fun time and you would be one of those guys or gals that everyone wants to go over to your house because you have this nice piece of machinery it's like when you were younger and you got a ps2 before any of your friends did and they all wanted to come over and you were the guy until someone else got a ps2 and then they realized how big of a piece of shit you are so they don't want to watch you anymore they don't want to be around you anymore yeah maybe i i that was me for a little bit but I, what i'm trying to say here is get it if you can if you, if you can get it, great. If you could do it without putting yourself into debt or missing a rent payment or your student loan payment, do it because you will have a great time. And it's always something that you could just pull out whenever you're bored with all of your other games because it's so interesting. And I can only see this going further. I really can because everyone's coming out with games for it. Everyone's coming out with you know the, the, the what they're gonna do in the future. Uh, they're, they're coming out with new technology for, for it. They're not just doing this and then they thought, eh, not a lot of people bought it, we're just gonna drop it. I mean, as soon as the price drops, I'm positive more people will start buying this. And if you want it right now without that price drop, you just wanna play this so bad. There are other models, obviously. There's, I mean, the only thing that comes to mind is the Oculus Rift without doing like the Samsung, put your phone in there and oh look, it's a VR machine. Now it's using your phone's you know, capabilities and just it's fooling you into it pretty much. So if you don't want to spend the 900, I think it's 500, I think for the Oculus Rift. Don't quote me on it. It's cheaper. So look at all of the different ones out there. If you could buy one, do it. It's fun, and I promise you, you'll find at least five, six, seven, eight games that you'll like. Now, you'll also find 20, 40, 50 games that you will hate, and it's too late to go back now because you already bought it. But that's why Steam has the return sale. So just before you play two hours, just say, uh-uh, not for me. Boom, take it back. But guys, that does it for me for today. I hope I cleared up some of the hesitation that you might have for purchasing a VR or backing up your, your hatred for the VR machines. So I hope to see you all in my next review. And I'm going to end this video as anyone should with a VR. Virtually. Whoa! Whoa! Boobs and stuff! Oh, please, just... Go!